Hello, how are you this week? I hope you are going well. It's June. Can you believe it? Can you believe it, Miguel? It is June. I don't know how we got here. It has been a crazy year so far. Anyway, I tried to get rid of the cat just before, but she sits outside the door meowing because it's scratch time and she likes her scratches. I have a funny feeling she's going to bite me any minute. <laughs> anyway, get the tail out of my mouth. So just when you thought maybe after this long period of lockdown that you might be running out of series to watch, a new month of course means a new series of show on Rialto Channel and I want to start by talking about a new series called All the Sins. So as you know I'm a big fan of Scandi Noir or Scandinavian crime dramas and All the Sins is a newie from Finland. Now I've watched a lot of Norwegian and Swedish and Danish crime dramas, not a lot of Finnish. There are some similarities here, mostly to do with location and tone. I feel that this series is a little grittier than others. The production is still top notch, but the characters just feel a little bit more flawed, flawed and edgy. Just a little bit more messy. So in all the sins, a couple of detectives are, spent to, are sent to a small town in northern Finland to investigate the murders of a couple of men from a deeply religious community. One of the cops is originally from the region. He was rejected by his family and his church for his homosexuality. And returning home, as you can imagine, is quite a traumatic experience. But in all the sins, though, it seems that most of the characters have, are dealing with some trauma of some sort or have some secrets, which makes solving the mystery as to who is the murderer a difficult one. So while what happens to the victims is gruesome, there isn't a lot of violence on screen. It's more of a psychological thriller. It's pretty fast paced, you get into it quickly. Thematically, there is a lot going on. Of course, it offers some lovely landscapes. So all the sins, it's a six parter. It's on Tuesday evenings at 8.30 p.m. Now, also in June, Rialto World is screening festival favourites from Europe on Monday evenings. Wednesday evenings is dedicated to health and ethics with a series of documentaries that cover everything from organ donation to chemicals and beauty products. Rialto documentary on Thursday evenings has a series of films focused on crime and corruption. Kind of goes nicely with all the sins. And on Friday, there's a brand new series beginning called On Death Row. It's a four-part mini-series, a documentary, um, exclusive to Rialto Channel that explores the plight of an immigrant um, proving to f um, fighting to prove his innocence on death row in America. So plenty to keep you occupied and entertain as the evenings get darker and cooler in June. For more information, go to rialtochannel.co.nz. And uh, Miguel and I will see you next week. Bye.